Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. We're on number 24. <gasps> 24 projects that have been out to you all Christmassy and all festive and this one hot chocolate slider actually it's not a hot chocolate slider it's a chocolate bar slider possibly were two when I first started this only one left now but you know we can still use just the one we don't need to worry about that too much but yeah nice chocolate bar and I spotted these there was this one, and I think the other one was gingerbread, but it's dairy milk chocolate, which I do love anyway. Um, not sponsored by, wish I was. Be lovely to be sponsored by dairy milk. Um, but yeah, they've got a Christmassy theme now. So this one's um, milk chocolate and white chocolate. Winter Wonderland. And I just thought that was lovely. So, super easy to make. You start up with your sheet of paper. So this is just, I really am down to very little of this left. <laughs> There's not much going on. So you just measure up the length of whatever bar of chocolate it is that you've got. And you want a little bit of overlap, as you can see, that's longer than is necessary. So it's very much an eyeballing kind of thing. So I'm looking at about half an inch longer in either direction so maybe you want to go about one and a half centimeters and in my case I'm going to cut that at eight and a half inches and eight and a half inches is going to be about 21 and a half centimeters 22 centimeters that was a good guess Sam okay don't need that bit do need this bit and it's like wrapping a Christmas present it really is you just have to go well it's gonna fit in that bit so that's what I need and you just hack it off there really is no <laughs> you know let's not get too sciencey about it and that's it <laughs> so that's gonna fit all in there so I'm gonna get my tear and tape best adhesive in the world ever and I'm going to run some down there but also some along the bottom and I'm going to give it a bit of a roll because you know quality paper quality paper and it, it's you need to let it know who's boss and I'm gonna put that down like that kind of in the middle ish I just fold it over don't want to make it too tight because you know we do want to get the chocolate bar in and out which <laughs> did I just make it too tight Oh, I flipping did <laughs> I just made it too tight nope there we go and that's coming in and out no problem so I'm going to take that out for a second and in here I want to get the end of my tear and tape peel that off and stick it down and I'm going to press really firmly so I find that a bone folder is going to do that job for you okay right up at the other end I'm going to get a hole punch and I like my little half inch circle and I'm just going to push that in and pop out a hole like so and I used this ribbon on this one and I don't know if I've got enough left oh I have Ooh, yay and this is where the fun happens so push it through so you've got roughly the same amount either side and then you get your chocolate bar and as you push it through you're pushing the ribbon as well so those lengths are getting shorter and shorter and shorter and you get hold of that and you push it through like that and 
Oh, I can't push this one all the way through. You just tie an, a little knot or bow off at the end. When you make it a knot, somebody doesn't try and undo it. They just pull. When you make it a bow, somebody thinks, oh, I've got to undo that bow. You know, I've got to pull it very neatly. But when you've made it a knot, somebody's going to go, I'm not going to do battle with that. And they can't help but pull. And out comes the chocolate bar. <laughs> I need to get that photographed really, really quickly so I can possibly yummy eat it. Right, so that's the slider. Super easy. Like I say, make sure that you're glued up properly here at the bottom. And then I'm going to take... I want to have a tag on this. And I want to have a couple of stockings. But I'm going to come to the stockings in a second because it kind of depends on what I've got left. So that's old olive. My scraps bins are next to me if I bring one out oh, I don't even know that I can they're all concertina together let's just bring the whole lot out I have this lot in a drawer next to me and these are uh, they are receipt wallets concertina receipt wallets and they are in the drawer next to me and I'm looking for some old olive there we go <gasps> yay oh why have I got a load of old olive I think I must have made cards with them or something um and so, yeah, this lives in the drawer next to me. Along with all sorts of other gubbins and stuff. Oh, perfect. That's going to fit on there just nicely. Oh, good Lord. Did you hear Fauna? She's lost me. She's been asleep all day while I've been doing this filming. Oh, oh she really has lost me, hasn't she? Oh, it's very plaintive. She'll work out where I am in a minute. Um, yeah, so I want this to cut through first. And that's going to give me my little tag. Oh, I forgot to get any wipes. And I'm going to go, I think I might just go with one stocking. with the longer one and I'm going to go with the, no I'm not going to go with the pussycat I'm going to go with that one so oh she's did you find me oh did you hello good morning you've been asleep all day haven't you so you're going to just sit exactly where I'm working right memento ink Seriously, she's been fast asleep. So I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute. Chocolate's not good for kitties, Fauna. But I have bought a stocking for you. And then Santa Paws is coming to town. That looks like it's going to not ink properly. Oh well. Oh, it's fine. That's good. And then what else have I got? I've got little stitches here. I could go all the way round, but I might just put peace, joy. What did that say? Peace, joy, and kisses. That's cute. What a nice thing to say. Peace, joy, kisses. Pop that down at the bottom. And then you might have to move, little lady. I'm going to get the big stocking out of here. You are going to move. Because I need to put this here, corner. I'm going to scooch over there. Good girl. So, plate number one, plate number two. Get my. Oh, I've completely run out of washi now. Get my stocking here. Send all of those through. You're sitting there with your back to me. 
I don't know what I did wrong. I left you sleeping. Okay, so I'm going to colour this, and I've got. I think I might edge cherry cobbler. I might put in a little bit of poppy parade as well. Is that poppy parade? No, that's real red. So I'm going to go light real red, I think. On every other one. I go light first because I tend to wibble these lines and then the dark cherry cobbler can cover it up and you'd never know I'd wibbled my lines. So I'm not doing, you know, any blending at all. <laughs> but it's still lovely. I love these pens. So these chocolate bars, I got, yeah, I'm trying to think where I got them from. I'm sure I got it in the range. Um, but probably other supermarkets are going to have them too. Um, very wibbly lines there. Oops. Yeah, they're very nice. Yeah, I'm sure it was gingerbread one. Um, the corner's a bit sleepy, I think. She's not playing yet. That's on there, and we can pop that on here. And the chocolate pie wasn't expensive at all. It wasn't like the one that was that had Samantha on it. If you saw that on my Instagram stories, uh, Instagram page, I found a chocolate bar that said Samantha on it. <laughs> Let me poke that all the way through. There we go. But yeah, inexpensive, but lovely. Looking rather fabulous. What do you think, Fauna? Oh, that was a very big yawn. So yeah, I think those are really cute. So I have a few more projects for you next week. Next week is Christmas week. It's the lead up to Christmas anyway. But I do have projects for you. And the doorbell. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye. Someone's at your door.